think I needed my loved ones just to be there and just to be open to my experience. And I think that was kind of what I needed was people that just wanted to spend time or be there with me and talk about whatever, or maybe laugh, or maybe just be quiet. I can't help but think that they're scared too. Cancer is not just one person going through it. It's such a complex experience. My mom is sort of defined by her optimism. She is someone that really believes in putting your hope into the world. She's just like a relentless optimist and it's just incredible. I broke down quite a bit in the beginning because everything comes at you really fast and you have to get all these procedures done. Like you have to get your bone marrow biopsy, you have to get your pulmonary exam, you have to get a port installed in your chest, which is a surgical procedure. Meanwhile, you just feel constantly poked and prodded and jabbed. and. It's, that's part of the dehumanizing aspect of cancer is like, once you start to feel like a patient and not a person, then you're just like, you know, it feels like you're just this like lab experiment that's going through all these things. And so to have her sitting there all the time reminded me that like, oh yeah, this, I'm also her son and I'm a human and I, you know, this is okay to feel overwhelmed.